Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, founder of Etherplan. I research, write articles and podcasts about Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, and decentralized applications. Um, this is the Ethereum Classic Phoenix upgrade, a uh, short explanation. I'm going to show the key resources. Uh, first, the countdown page. The Phoenix upgrade is going to occur in four days and 14 hours. That is June 1st of 2020. Uh, you can go to this page um, to, to, to track uh, when it's going to happen and, and what's going on with the nodes. As, as can be seen here, 34% um, 30, are ready uh, for, the, for the hard fork and 66% uh, are not ready yet. That, that's normal uh, for four days before the upgrade. The other resource is um, the clients. If you are a miner, uh, mining pool or node operator, uh, these are the four clients that are available, upgraded and tested for, for uh, Phoenix. The first one is Core Geth. Uh, this client is supported by the EDC Core team with funding from Ethereum Classic Labs. Then you have uh, Hyperledger Besu. This client is supported by the Chainsafe, ETC Cooperative and Pegasus teams as part of the Hyperledger project with funding uh, from Grayscale's Ethereum Classic Trust. Hyperledger uh, project is, uh, is an independent uh, project and is part of the Linux Foundation uh, projects. Um, Multigeth um, is, is another client that is ready for Phoenix. This client is a community maintained and supported by the core paper and Godel Labs teams. Uh, Multigeth is, is the, the original um, implementation of Go Ethereum uh, that was the first to be for multiple uh, Ethereum uh, networks. And last but not least, you have um, Open Ethereum. Uh, this client is supported by the Gnosis team with funding from the Ethereum Foundation. It used to be uh, maintained by Parity Technologies. It was called Parity Ethereum. Uh, now it's called Open Ethereum and it's an open source uh, project. Uh, this page also has resources for public end endpoints. If you're not a node operator and wish not to run your own node, uh, which is not recommended, but there's, there's services, uh, cloud services uh, for that. One is, is Block Scout. The other one is Ether Cluster. And then Ether Cluster also has the, the test nets. All, the, all these four resources, these two are the test nets, Coty and Mortar, uh, which, which have been running for several months testing Phoenix. And these are the main net. Um, then Node Tools. Um, if you want to run a node, but no, not in your own infrastructure, these tools make it easy to spin, a, spin up a cluster of nodes for production, deployment, or perform uh, data science with uh, public data sets. So you have uh, one is Block Scout, the other one is DAP Node, the third one is Ether Cluster, Big Queries is uh, Google Big Queries mainly for, for data, and Quick Node. The other uh, important resource are the instructions for all of this upgrade. Uh, here on HackMD, you're going to find all the instructions and the historic explanation of the evolution uh, of the clients and which clients are ready and which clients are not. Uh, the, key, the key part for me uh, here is that Get Classic um, which is the historic original client since 2016 of Ethereum Classic is not going to support, it's not, it's not being maintained, therefore it's not going to support Phoenix. So the, the recommendation is to migrate to Core Geth, maintained by the um, ETC Core developer team. And then Parity Ethereum, as I said before, um, Parity Technologies is not maintaining it. So the recommendation is to migrate to Open Ethereum or Hyperledger Besu. And then IOHK Mantis, which is also uh, a historical client for EDC, is not going to support Phoenix. It's not, it's not being maintained uh, at this point. So the recommendation is to migrate to Hyperledger Besu. The last resource is the, the specification itself. So the Ethereum Classic 
Improvement Proposal 1088 is the specification for Phoenix EVM and protocol upgrades. The simple summary is um, enable the outstanding Ethereum Foundation Istanbul network protocol upgrades on, it, on the Ethereum Classic network in a hard fork codenamed Phoenix to enable maximum compatibility across these networks. So basically is to update Ethereum Classic to be fully uh, in parity and compatible with the current Ethereum network. Uh, this this uh, specification has uh, all the Ethereum improvement proposal uh, uh, proposals, uh, EIPs, uh, that, that are the technical specification for this specific upgrade. Thank you very much.